Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I just finished another shot for my film, so let's look into how this was created. I took a similar approach creating this one to when I made this other shot where I animated some running water between rocks. The main challenge with this one was to create a field of grass that would fit the style I'm going for and sort of land somewhere between looking 3D and 2D. Uh, on my Patreon I have a full video covering the creation of this grass, so if you want to know more in detail about how this was done, you can check that out. For this shot I started out by setting up my overall composition in 3D. The boulder, uh, the big stone here in the middle, is the hero piece and it's the rock that my characters are climbing in this film that I'm currently making. So I knew that it had to sit in the middle and, you know, be the main focus. Most of the stones scattered out here are actually the same stone acids that I have just rotated and squashed and stretched into different formations and angles. It's a really fun process to build these scenes. It's not so hard actually, you know, once you have modeled a few things you can actually reuse them forever. I tried a few different approaches to creating the field of grass. I explored hair in Cinema 4D and I were able to create some interesting results where I could actually use dynamics like wind and colliders on it, but I found it looking a bit too 3D and I didn't really fit my scene, so I went with a technique of just creating a lot of clones spread over some distorted planes. I gave these clones a slight animation using a deformer and voila, I had sort of a painted looking feel that I could move my camera over. These are all just flat cards with some painted grass images on them, so it only works for certain angles. But uh, I think if you look through the right angle, um, it looks pretty cool. I turned the grass off and gave my stones some of my painted textures and then I rendered them out as a still frame. I went over it in Photoshop and painted it up, making it look nice and detailed. You might have seen me cover this workflow in my previous videos. I then brought it back into Cinema 4D and projected it back onto the landscape. I have been using Redshift to render all these scenes, but what is cool is that I can actually drop on a standard Cinema 4D luminance texture for the projected elements, and Redshift rendered that really quickly and well. That means I could render the grass, which requires Redshift, and the projected stones in one go. And as the stones have already been rendered once and, you know, shaded, um, basically in the painting process, they're now unaffected by the lights, as they are luminance layers. So that works out perfectly. Something I think is really nice is how these sprite grass assets are being shaded by the stones around it. The lighting setup I have here is just a white dome light that illuminates the whole scene, and an infinite light, or a distant light, they're also sometimes called, that creates this sunlight effect and that casts these long shadows. I animated a camera through the scene and then hit render. The render time was not too bad. It, in 4K, you know, with 60 frames or something, it took me around two hours. I also enabled depth of field on the camera so the foreground gets nice and blurred. I then took this render into After Effects and put the background in. I played around with some particles to create these wind lines and also some small particles flying in the air. If you want a bit more info on this scene you can join me on Patreon where I have a longer video about the grass and also share some textures I use and the model for the stones if that's something you want. This was a quicker one today, I think a lot of these methods I've covered in my previous videos so feel free to check out the channel and make sure to subscribe while you're at it. Here's the final animation again, hope you're doing well, I'll see you in the next one.